this is Chef Banayoti. And today I'm going to be making my own recipe, my signature dish, fettuccine. You guys must be wondering, hmm, what is fettuccine? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's pasta dough with feta cheese. My momager asked me to think of a recipe in 2021 and I put my thinking hat on and I was like, of course, fettuccine. I was wondering how am I going to put the feta cheese in with the dough and combine it together. And when I was thinking about that, I thought of my good friend, Chef Janine. She has the cooking experience and the tools for putting the fetishes in with the dough. So come on, follow me to the View Grill restaurant. I'm at the View Grill restaurant right now with Chef Janine, who you already know. And she's going to help me with dehydrating the feta for the feta cheese. Feta cheese, huh? That's very, very creative. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to dehydrate the feta cheese in this dehydrator right here. So what this is going to do, we're going we're gonna to crumple up the, the feta cheese. We're going to lay it flat on here. And we're going to put it in the dehydrator. And what the, the dehydrator is going to do is it's going to uh, dehydrate it's going to take out all the liquid inside. It's going to get it to uh, where it's very dried out. It's and, at a dry point. Right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a powder out of it. So let's start. You want to help me uh, break it up? And this should probably take about overnight, a day maybe. And it's always better um, when you do it in the winter time rather than the uh, summer when it's humid. The weather makes it a lot different when you're trying to dehydrate something uh, when it's humid out. Usually what I do when I dehydrate something in the summertime when it's humid is I leave it in the dehydrator constantly and I take it out as I need it. Because once you leave it out, it'll start to absorb, when it's humid, it'll start to absorb the, uh, the liquid from the atmosphere again. Twenty hours passed, and we are back at the View Grill restaurant to check on that feta cheese. So come on, let's go inside. But first, mask on. Okay, it's not upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay, come on, let's go inside. Hello. Oops, you forgot someone. <laughs> This is what the feta cheese looks like right now. It looks so dried up. I never knew feta cheese could look like this. Uh, this feta cheese was um, put in the dehydrator at about 145 degrees for 12 hours. And then we let it sit for another 10 hours. So now what we're going to do, we got nice and dry. And now yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a spice grinder, what, what you know as a uh, coffee grinder, and we're going to grind it up into a powder. So, Chef B. Putting the dried up set of cheese. Yep.
we weighed seven ounces of our zero zero flour, four ounces of our semolina flour, and three ounces of our dehydrated feta cheese. Okay, so what we did was we we're, oh, we weighed out four ounces of semolina flour because we're gonna um, replace it with the dehydrated feta make it to seven ounces. So it's seven ounces of double O flour, which is high gluten flour, bread flour, and our semolina with our feta. Okay, you ready? Yes. You're gonna add it in? Yes. kind of a workout for your hands. Okay, ready? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna, we're gonna roll out our pasta. Put it through this machine. So we're starting on... One. And what we're going to do, each time we put it through, we're going to make it a little thinner. But what we're going to do is put it through a couple of times. So you're going to fold it on top of it, on top of itself, and then go again. So we're just... Oh my goodness, that's long. Look at that. Alright, I'm going to put that one more. Go ahead. We're gonna leave it at this. You get tired? <laughs> The homemade fettuccine. Yes. Chef Panayoti's signature dish. Good job, Chef T. So mm -hmm. proud of you. I could taste the better cheese. Yay! Chef T, what are you doing? Taste testing? Oh. <laughs> How is it? Good. <laughs> you sure? Ah. <laughs> it's 
good. What we're going to do, okay, is we're going to add extra virgin and quarter to olive oil. Actually, from Calabra stuff. We're going to add some garlic to this. We're going to keep it at a medium, low heat. It smells so good. Okay. We're going to add a little more olive oil to this because we're going to be adding some eggplant next. We're going to add the eggplant. Yeah. And we're going to turn it really low because you don't want our garlic to burn. We just want to brown it a little bit. Italian, but everything's better with Parmesan. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. The basil? Yep. 
the tray for the law. Are you ready, kiddo? Yes. That's pretty good. Bravissimo! <laughs> what does that mean? This is fantastic. In what language? Italian? <laughs> yeah. Boy, this is good. Bravo! Great job, guys! Caniotis, chef, you have a winner here. <laughs> this is your signature dish, okay? Yes, it is. What's the date today? The date? Yeah. The 30th of January. You did a beautiful job. 2021. With this. Remember this date, little man, when you open your own restaurant. All right? This is perfect. <laughs> this was amazing. You are thank, fantastic. Thank you for helping me. Oh my, it's my pleasure. My privilege. You're going to be a superstar. This is our rising star chef here, okay? <laughs> thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. That's Bye. right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.